Parapuda Cloud Generation Web Application Firewall. My name is Clement Olaoshe, become a security associate with Digital Technologies. I'm going to take you through a brief overview of what the Parapuda Web Firewall is all about and why it is important for you to have one of these. As you can see, the Web Application Firewall can protect the youth, can also protect you from inbound and then outbound attacks through several inspection. You can see inbound inspection, outbound inspection, and there you see through different uh, zero day attacks, it's ready to protect you from all attacks, block known and unblock attack. The ones that are known is uh, the Barapuda. A web application firewall has the ability to protect you from them by giving you a visibility into the things that are happening in your environment. There are various attack protection and uh, that web application firewall or can help you with attack protection like SQL, command injection, SSS you know, positive and negative security models, brute force protection, integrated at virus is there that protect you from different uh, viruses, DDoS protection, GC protections for your mobile app, and you know, and uh, these are the benefits you're going to get from the Barracuda web firewall. I'm going to be taking you through a brief overview of the uh, live demo so go with me as we look into it okay so this is how a barracuda web application firewall in a live demo looks like you don't need to put password you just sign in directly you have access into it so we're going to be looking at it it's a predefined uh, uh dashboard predefined dashboard as you can see i'm going to be showing you uh the basic you know this is the dashboard you can see it under the basics the service where your servers are there there you can see your certificates, the things that you, you, you bought, the administrations, the web uh, firewall uh, locks, the access locks. You can also make audits to how people are uh, operate through your uh, your webs and then, you know, security policies, you know, through policy manager. This is where you can manage the policy in your organizations, your websites, how you can... Uh, you can implement either of these, the allow, the deny, and the redirect, the GC security for your mobile uh, apps, you know, and the hexable validations, you know, the high peer reputations. Here you can check the bots and then you mitigate them, the, 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 the things they are doing and the spam, you know, the access control. This is where you give a, 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 a chance, you give uh, authentications to those that are able or those that are denied from having access to your networks. You know, other the networks, this is where you can set up your needs, your routers, and then you know, you look at the firewall locks also here, and then you can configure your network here as well. In the advanced settings, you can see some things here where you can update your firmware of your device itself. You know, the system configuration can also be implemented here. Here, you can have to also have a secure administration where you can also make some troubleshoot. Here, you know, what, what interests me more is the cloud control. You know, it's it, it, the visibility into your cloud, you know, and then you can make some control there. There you can see some vulnerability. Here you can manage the vulnerability in that place. Okay, so let's go into the basics. I'm going to be talking and speaking to the dashboard. You know, as you can see, it is an eye level overview that summarizes what is going on on the box itself. You know, you know, when you look at these attacks, it shows you all the attacks that is going on all over the world, the US, you know. You have to see them, you see them from fear of France, from China, you know, this is where you can locate that from Nigeria, you know. And you know, performance statistics this shows the uh the heads of your box itself, you know, the firmware storage, you know, the log storage, you know. There you can know the services and the servers. You have five servers here running, four servers, four services were not running on the servers, you know, and then you know the degraded the maintenance, you know. And here you can look at the subscription status. And as well, you can look at the attacks that is that is that is happening over here. You can also make, you know, the excess injection. This is the last day, the last hour, you know, per total, you know, 
you can also make the filter into heat you see that if i click on the hot board you know it's going to leave you can just make a filter just for easy uh accessibility to be able to check and have visibility to what you want to have okay so that is all about the dashboard so i'm going to be talking about the service you know under these services it is where you can create specific services for your servers you know and that is where you are able to do the servers that are hosting you know here you can do the server that is hosting uh, some website you know and then you can have visibility to hit the type of service the name you know you have the http you have the custom word you know the https you know the ftp you know the, the versions also ipv uh, ipv4 or ipv6 you know the the virtual ip address and the port no pass where well, you can you can also navigate into there yeah, from here here also you can make some rules you know when you see some things that you want to make some rules into your services as well can be configured right here uh, another thing of interest here is the web firewall logs you know here under the logs you see it helps you to see what is going on the specific section you know the denied the allowed the cloaked you are able to have visibility to hit from this uh, interface it helps you to know the details about the attacks you know you can know the details about the attack you can know the event that is happening the port number you know the url you can know the client details that's uh that is being denied and why is being denied you know you can have details but when you click here you can get more details you know that does that interface here yeah, you can just get it okay from china okay the host ip address you know the proxy ip you know from there okay the, the, the action was denied why the rule you know you are able to link it to the rule okay it's against the security policy rule you know it's, it's a global type you know the rule type is a global one you know what was the attack details okay just sql injection the parameter and then the app you know that the sql attacks this is something you don't you don't want to be you know you can also remediate it by fixing it when you click on fix you know then the policy you can also make some uh fixing over here okay so i'm going to go to talk about the access you know access logs you know this will give you visibility to all the section in the boxes you know you are just seeing all the section in your box one by one everything to one four four five one you know and then you're just looking deep down deep dive and then you're able to see okay is it demo is this and then you're able to understand what is happening from nigeria from us you know and then also the audit log here you can see those that are assessing your uh those that are presently logged in and what are they doing presently you can see there the transaction type what did they log in the time you know you can also check through the details also the security uh policies here i'm just going to look into the policy manager you can check the parameter protections you know there are other things you can make 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 off here you know the parameter protection is here enabled you know when you enable it the extensions that you had it to hit you know and then looking at the policy manager here yeah. i'm going to show you you see here you can see you can see some things that are happening here is a pretty fine policy actually and then you want to have a template you know that you want to use uh do you want to, do you want to focus on the sharepoint you know you want to put a policy that okay on my sharepoint you want to use the predefined one then you add it or you want to create a new a custom new one you can also have it or then you want to look into it and say okay for my outlook uh you want to use it for that or for the oracle so these are the predefined ones that are there we also have the website on the website you see different things that you can enable for your website to advance security you know the 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 barracuda cloud generation web application firewall it's all about security it's all about security so you need to know the uh exception uh or sticks you know and then the traffic management that you can put in place you know what interests me here the adaptive profile 
here you know in this profile you can plug in your box to your uh, web and then you are able to look in and have uh, visibility to know the corpus of hours that it will take for you to know you know to show some back traffic and then you definitely know the sites the things that are happening the false positives which is right here you can know them and then you can see oh okay bad net is happening you know this will also link you to see uh from the from the cloud control you can also go to vulnerability manage, manager so linking it to the adaptive profiling so from there you can look at the scans you know we looking at the dashboard you can see or you can see you can see it you can see it the vulnerability the top uh, vulnerability applications you know the, the app with WAF you know this this one is it's, it's really 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 bad you know you know you are just going to be looking at it and then you see how you are going to update some remediation to hit the active and the finished scans as well you know and then from there you'll be able to make some remediation from here you're able to see it and then you want to take a view you know for example looking at this one the jumala okay so you want to make a view to see okay what is going on so that you can make some policies because what you see in this vulnerability manager you can it can help you to create some policies you see okay for example the pci dds you know it is, there's an issue for the high risk has been found in this car you know when this car was made you see hippa you know the oisp the top 10 you know and then uh, those are the things you can do and then help you to create and mitigate those things you know and then looking at the access control you know this is where you make authentication key to those who have access and who do not have access you are into into your uh your web you know there you can deny then you can allow then you can give uh, uh access and under the advanced you know you can also look uh, deep dive into the uh, ip access control who are those that have access into the uh into the controls you know who are the audit manager who are the service manager you know you can you can give access here and also deny access here you know as well and then uh basically uh, all the year i want to show you some which relates to uh, the, 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 the the firmware uh, vulnerability that we just did you know so the, you can also download the vulnerability uh, reports over here and then you look at the report you know and then from here when you look at these reports can help you to be able to remediate uh, some of the uh, the attacks that you that you are experiencing and thus you have to create some policies against that by going back to the policy manager that we just talked about so these are just a brief uh, overview of a uh, web application firewall you know uh, and then to help you to to protect the business critical information uh from being stolen uh yeah, you know so so I, I will advise you to think security and think digital we are in digital we are partner with uh, barracuda and then we are able to help you to implement this with your uh, with your organization so as to mitigate and then to fight against all, all levels of attack